Well, my name is Dr. Said Nazim. I'm a consultant dermatologist and aesthetic physician and director at Royal Nest Skin Clinic, New Delhi. Today, I'm going to discuss about lip aesthetics and then I will share my personal experience. So if you can see right now in lip aesthetics, the lips are the most important aesthetic structures in the lower one third of the face. Okay, so they are the major components of facial symmetry and aesthetics and fuller lips become increasingly desirable as they are considered both youthful and beautiful. And the definition of the lips varies across individuals, cultures and in fact from, from country to country. Women do spend a lot of time in accentuating their lips. Now, if you see the well-defined and full lips represent attractiveness and femininity and there are beauty trends keep coming and going but beautiful lips are always in trends. So you can see there are studies which show that wider and fuller lips in relation to the facial width as well as a greater vermilion height are a mark of female attractiveness. Now, if you see some, some surface anatomy, if we talk about some surface anatomy of the lips, if you see we have something the upper lip and the lower lip. The upper lip should be one third and the lower lip should be two third in proportion and volume. And ideally the upper lip should face anterior, little anterior to the lower lip. Where it's, it's very important when you do any kind of lip injections or lip aesthetics or you're just correcting any lips. So the upper lip should be more anterior to the lower lip and there are some other very important structures which is called a cupid's bow which is a kind of an arrow shaped structure in the upper lip. We have also these column like structure which are called filtral columns and as we age these filtral columns become more, more flat and wider and which is a sign of aging. Now you can see in this slide we have in the lower lip we have two bulges medially you can see here and a slight depression in the center and that corresponds to the you can see that of the two center tubercles in the upper lip fine and same in the lower lip we have lateral depressions that corresponds to the two bulges in the upper lip why i'm talking about these structural things surface anatomy because as we deal with the lip it is very important to keep more natural looks in the lips and do not create anything which is unnatural. Now some other things which are important in the lip aesthetics and science of lips is the golden ratio of phi's ratio. So phi is a golden ratio that defines beauty of face which is applicable to a lot of all the structures uh, across the world. Like you talk about Taj Mahal, you talk about Eiffel Towers, all the beautiful structures of the world do adhere to this phi ratio and this phi ratio is applicable on facial structures equally so in a perfect phase the oral commissure oral commissure is equal to the interpupillary line so if you draw a line from the mid of the pupils so the lips end somewhere in between them fine now again in this slide you can see the lower lip is phi to the upper lip in terms of proportion so this is 1.6 and it's 1 so this is phi to the upper lip and the oral commissure distance, the oral commissure distance is phi to the distance from one edge of the oral commissure is, is phi to this from one edge of the oral commissure to the contralateral filtrum columns. And same in this slide, you can again see that age, gender, country of residence and profession significantly impact individual upper and lower lip ratio. For example, somebody who is in a modeling, you cannot have the same lip somebody who is in a profession like a doctor or some other professions where you cannot give more exaggerated features where you need to look more of more natural. So it depends equally on your profession, it depends equally on your age. In my next slide decks, I can show you some different uh, pictures before or after where you can see when I am doing a uh, lip, lip augmentation for a young girl, it is completely different if I do for a lip augmentation for a middle-aged woman or an old-aged woman. Fine, but there are some studies which say equally the upper and lower lip ratio can apparently be considered most pleasing in females. So there are equally some studies which have been done in, across the world which define that the, if the upper and lower lip ratio should be the same. But beauty of lip is enhanced by a slight exaggerated lower lip for sure. Now again, you can see these anatomical features of aesthetic lip. These, these are the filtral columns 
and these are the filtering columns these are these this is these are the cupids bro here and this is something the cupids bro so cupids is a, actually a greek word which which defines the god some something related to the god of erotic love so very well said so it's a, it's a it's a bow shaped structure in the upper lip it becomes flat as we age so these things are important again in lip aesthetics now you can see again the filter from here this needs to be created back when you do any kind of lip aesthetics now i'll be sharing my personal experience some before and after pictures and this will all go as per the age group so now you'll see the lip augmentation in a young female you can see the lips here are proportionately thin and immediately after doing the dermal filler injections you can see some beautiful results immediate after this swelling and redness is gonna go in next 24 hours here you can see again in a young female very subtle change already she has a good looking lips the little bit of cracking you can see before and after very subtle and gentle a little bit of an exaggerated you can see before and after because the the girl was looking for more exaggerated features she is a kind of a model now you can see again before and after very subtle change you can see a bit more exaggerated features here again before and after you can see this is called a heart lip if we create a little bit cleft in between the lower lip you can see and lift in the lateral parts of the lip it gives a perfect uh, heart shape in the lip now i'll be i will be showing some before and after pictures of middle aged females she's a housewife you can see the before and after very subtle and gentle change again before and after very subtle and gentle change in an age group of 40s you can see here again in age group of 40 to 50 very subtle change before and after before and after here you can also see in this housewife very subtle change before and after and then in the old age groups you can see the before and after picture here we have been able to i have been able to do the her cupid's bow and get her filter columns back you can see this female was having submucosal fibrosis was not able to open her mouth and the lips were considerably very thin but now you can see before and after very gentle change again in old age female you can see before and after and uh, even some trans transgenders we do i do lip augmentations you can see before and after very subtle and natural and change and there is there's a case where this woman who had got some problem in the mouth there's an asymmetry in the lip you can see this has been corrected by using the dermal fillers before and after this correction is done again it is also this the, the dermal fillers to have a role in lip dryness which is called chelites or dryness of the lips you can see dryness in this lip after doing all the medical treatments medical management we were not able to rectify her dryness and you can see after injecting the fillers because these hyaluronic acid fillers absorb the water you can see how the lips look more hydrated thank you very much